So I've owned an Ender Free printer for a couple of months and I've created my own spool holder design. Browsing forums and user groups for the Ender Free printers, I see tons of mods and upgrades. Some of these make sense and some of them don't, but hey. So the current design is three pieces, a metal bracket, a plastic peg that the spool sits on and a locking nut. As the peg doesn't spin, as the reel rotates, it creates friction and creates a jerky motion that's quite noisy. It's designed with clips that hold everything together so you don't require extra hardware and it's been done in FreeCAD. This is an open source CAD package and the great thing about this is that you don't need to worry about if you're a hobbyist, if you're making profit, if you're doing this for commercial. It's all covered, you don't need to read a long license and worry about that. So the design features a spool holder. This has a pocket at each end to house a bearing and it also has tapered insides to minimise the amount of plastic that we'll be using. The next largest part is the axle. This features a clips at both ends. And finally the cap. This locks the clips into position. I've used six two or two bearings. So to install the new design, we're going to remove the current peg and lock nut. The bearings are pushed into the spool holder. This needs to be done at both sides. Once the bearings are in, we can slide the spool holder onto the axle. If it's a little bit tight, squeeze the clip together and just work it on. Next, we clip on the axle to the metal bracket. We can now put the cap on. I've not heard any knocks or creaks from the reel, so this design has solved that problem. I've also noticed a much more natural curve from the reel to the extruder, so this shows that the tension has dropped and there'll be less work on the extruder and less work um, on the filament. As the reel used to jerk around, the tension on the filament would change, so you could have had an uneven extrusion because of this. So I just want to say thank you for watching this. Please let me know if you made this design. I've put the files on Thingiverse and if you've got any comments, please comment below and, you know, let me know what you'd improve on.